Multimedia is the use of text, graphics, animation, pictures, video and sound to present information. Since this media can now be integrated using a computer, there has been a virtual explosion of computer-based multimedia instructional applications. This study found that using multimedia meant that more emphasis was placed on the acquisition of higher order thinking and problem solving skills, with less emphasis placed on the assimilation of a large body of isolated facts. It has been found that undergraduate psychology student classes whose lectures were presented using multimedia earned a higher final examination score than students in traditional classes. In this study, students are randomly assigned to either the multimedia course or a print version. Results show that the multimedia group needed significantly less study time when compared to the text group, demonstrating that multimedia-driven teaching significantly improves students' performance. Students learn better from words and pictures than from words alone. On-screen animations, slideshows and narratives should involve both written or oral text and still or moving pictures. Simple blocks of text or auditory only links are less effective than when this text or narration is coupled with visual images. This states that students learn better when corresponding words and pictures are presented near rather than far from each other on the page or screen. When presenting couple text and images, the text should be close to or embedded within the images. Placing text under an image is sufficient, but placing the text within the image is more effective. It states that students learn better when corresponding words and pictures and couple text images are presented simultaneously rather than successively. When animation and narration are both used, they should coincide. This states that students learn better when extraneous words, pictures and sounds are excluded. Therefore, multimedia presentations should be clear and concise. Those that add unnecessary information can hold back on student learning. This states that students learn better from animation and narration than from animation and on-screen text. Multimedia presentations involving both words and pictures should be created using auditory or spoken words, rather than written text to accompany the pictures. Interactive systems facilitate deep learning by actively engaging the learner in the learning process. This suggests that educational designers who seek to foster deep learning should adopt the incorporation of interactivity as a design principle. A problem with multimedia presentations is that the processing demands exceed the processing capacity of the cognitive system. This can be overcome by segmenting information, for example, presenting information in manageable sizes and giving students numerous breaks in lectures. The resolution to this is to use space learning, which is the teaching method using two 10-minute breaks during lectures where physical activity is performed by the students to break up the lecture. Propose to assess students by using online methods as multimedia-based tests will engage context-dependent learning after studying in this way.